Hi, I'm Ken Spector with LivingEcho.com, and we're here today with Mike Lewis from Pearson Fuels. Hi, Mike. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. So I heard before something about biodiesel fuels not being able to be stored underground. Can you clarify this? Yeah, I can tell you. Everything that's stored underground in California in an underground tank has to be third-party certified for that particular fuel. So, of course, all the gasoline tanks are third-party certified. Diesel's third-party certified. They have been for years. Third-party certified means something like uh, Underwriters Laboratories, you know, the little UL with the circle. Um, so somebody like Underwriters Laboratories has to third-party certify the tank. And what's happened is that none of the tanks have been certified for biodiesel because biodiesel's just never been big enough or on anybody's radar enough for UL to even put together what they call a protocol, which means if your tank passes this protocol, then uh, we will put our UL circle on it. Well, UL doesn't even have a protocol. So what's happened is biodiesel has gotten a little bit more popular in California, and a little bit more popular. The municipalities look around and go, well, there is a law in California that says it has to be third-party certified. And I think some of them maybe intentionally took a little risk on their own or intentionally looked the other way for a little bit, but ultimately there is a law that says that, and it's their job to follow the law. So they started following the law and they started telling people, hey, let's see your third party certification and there is no such thing with biodiesel. And a lot of places have shut down. I mean, closest to here, Conserve Fuels, which is two miles from here, no longer sells biodiesel. Uh, I believe the city of Santa Monica stopped selling uh, or having on site uh, biodiesel or 100% biodiesel because a little bit down the road from uh, the time that people started enforcing it, the legislature did pass a temporary uh, bill or a law that says that you can store B20 uh, temporarily for the next year or so until the certifications. B20 means 20% biodiesel. When did this snag come about? Uh, I probably started getting some visibility about a year and a half ago. So, you know, and I guess that's what happens is that for decades, California has had very stringent regulations, environmental regulations, and, and no, not a lot of people can argue with that, but a lot of those have been directed towards the fuel industry. Now, when you come along with a new fuel, you're in the fuel industry. You know, you'd like to say, get out of jail, hey, it's biodiesel, it's a different thing. Well, it's a biodiesel, it's a fuel. So these regulations apply to biodiesel. So what you've got, the irony of all of this, is that you have environmental regulations that are uh, requiring some people to take out 100% biodiesel out of their tank and they can put regular diesel in perfectly fine legally. Um, but for example, the city of Santa Monica, they took, and I don't know the details of the city of Santa Monica, but I've been told that they, they uh, used to have B100 and if that's in an underground tank, what they've had to do is take 80% of that biodiesel out and put regular diesel in and then it's legal. Do the oil companies have anything to do with this? Sounds like uh, something could be going on there. Well, you know, a lot of people have the uh, idea that, you know, the oil companies are actively preventing growth of biofuels. I mean, I think a lot of people think that. And I think they are in the business to sell fuel, of course. And if you look at the history of the oil companies, they grow by acquisition. What they do is they just make money and then they let the people that are in the new type of industry or the new type of fuels or the, you know, the cutting edge all kill each other for 10 years or so until one or two pop up and they buy them. You know, so I don't think that the oil companies are um, actively stopping or really very much caring about biofuels other than the point that they have to. And I think ultimately that uh, they will see it as another fuel one day. I mean, BP, you know, used to be British Petroleum and now it's BP, you know, and it's in solar and all kinds of different things. So. We used to call them oil companies, now we call them energy companies. And uh, I, I think that ultimately they'll be very involved in biofuels and they're just waiting to see who the winners and losers are. So what can be done to get uh, these biofuel tanks registered so that they can hold biofuel underground legally? Well, I think there's only two things that can happen. One is you have to go through the uh, Underwriters Laboratory uh, program. And the problem is, is that somebody said the other day, the whole all clean tech sector is has a huge noise to signal ratio and I love that noise to signal and what I mean by that is there's so much talk and so little happening so we talk about biodiesel I sell biodiesel I've sold biodiesel to the public for seven or eight years in San Diego at our station 
And uh, so that's the only real retail biodiesel in San Diego. And I sell less today than I've ever sold. So that's the signal is right there. So the point is, is that you have to put together enough of a business interest to go through the uh, underwriter's laboratory process, get them to even develop a protocol because you cannot solve it in the near term now because they don't even have a protocol. The only other way to address it would be through legislation, which is what they did with the B20. And interestingly, um, there were some prominent environmental groups that pushed very hard to not let them do an exemption for biodiesel because it's a fuel, it's underground. Even biodiesel has a tiny fraction percentage of other chemicals, you know. So there is a, you know, there's a large environmental contingent that that wants to avoid a uh, exemption for anything above B20. It's so, ironic. So do you think this could destroy the biodiesel industry? 